Hi and welcome to my classic old blues look of the month for the month of May 2015. This month we're going to be taking a look at a lick from the great Otis Rush from his tune Three Times a Fool. And during the second verse of the solo he does these scrapes or rakes with the pick as he muffles the strings with his right palm hand. And this is a really cool idea that you could use in a lot of different ways. Freddie King, if you listen to his playing, also does these quite a bit. So let me play uh, the second solo through, and you can hear this used in a lot of... Actually, you can hear it used quite a bit. So let me play it. It's in the key of A. The recording, if you listen to the original, it's an A flat, but I'm going to move it to A, just to make it easier to follow and to teach. Let me try to play it through one time. Okay, that's the entire second verse of the solo from Three Times a Fool. And what I'm doing is I'm starting out with this rake. And what, I, what I'm playing, it's almost really just an A minor chord. And if I make an A minor chord over the first position A bar chord, so there's my first position A bar chord. To do this, so I'm going to take my first finger and put it over the first, second, and third strings at the fifth fret. And then I'm going to take my ring finger and it's going to bounce down on the root which is the the seventh fret of the fourth string and then I'm going to alternate these rakes with a lick going back and forth between the seventh and the fifth fret on the fourth string so to do this what I'm doing is I'm using my finger here to bar the strings and in my right hand I'm dragging the pick up and as I'm doing that, I'm muting the strings with my right hand palm to keep them from ringing out too much. If I don't mute, here's what you get. You don't want it to ring out, you want it to sound choked. Kind of like that. And then in between, I'm throwing in this double stop. So this is one, if you've done any of the other classic blues lessons in my, on my YouTube channel, you've probably run into this somewhere. But I'm taking my first finger is on the 5th fret on the 2nd and 3rd strings. And then I'm hammering my 2nd finger down on the 6th fret of the 3rd string and picking both the 2nd and 3rd strings. And then I'm flattening my ring finger out on the 7th fret, 2nd and 3rd strings. And then I'm doing that hammer on again with the 2nd finger coming down on the 3rd string of the 6th fret. So the whole basic gist of the lick is like this. And that's over the one. Then when he goes to the four, he does the same thing. But this time, he's over the four, which this is a, a four, your second position D bar chord, like a power chord. And I'm just doing the double stop, but this time between the second and third strings on the fifth fret and the second and third strings on the sec on the seventh fret. So like this, same scrape. And I'm doing the same thing on the fourth string. And now I'm going. And then back to the one. And then over the five, he's doing this. Just an E7th chord, a C7th shape, moved up here, and then back to the 4, and then over this, something like that where he goes to the 5 to resolve the, the verse. So the, the idea, the scrapes, and that is something that... Uh, you hear Freddie King do quite a bit. And you can use it in all kinds of different ways in a solo or play, even playing rhythm and things like that. Now he has another tune called um, It Takes Time, which he plays in F sharp. And in that tune, he does another variation of that same lick with 
the scrapes. And you can mix that in, in in lots of different formats, but that's what he's doing in Three Times a Fool. And so this is our classic lick of the month. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. And I suggest you listen to the original, the Cobra recordings. Otis Rush is Three Times a Fool and hear what I'm talking about. Also listen to It Takes Time the Otis Rush version from the Cobra recordings. You'll hear him use that lick in a, in a different key. But the idea is simple. You're making basically a minor chord with one finger, and then you're scraping the pick while also muting the strings with your right hand palm. And then you can use it as part of a solo or as an entire solo, like he does in those tunes, Three Times a Fool, and uh, it takes time. He bases the whole solo that scrape lick plus the double stop that thrown in. If you have any questions, again, comments, contact me, let me know. I'll be back in June with another classic old school blues lick.